ask and you shall receive. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, y'all see the title. Y'all see it. Improvaganza, the best of Ryan and Colin. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome back to the channel. Thank y'all so much for coming over. And if you guys are new here, welcome on in, man. Hey, just trying to bring you guys some laughter, some joy. Like I say all the time, laughter is very, very therapeutic. We all need it. We all need it. And these two brothers, oh, come on now. Come on now. I actually never seen this show, but this was sent to me, so super excited for this. They said it's just like Who's Line, so, <clears throat> man. Ah, ah. Ah, laughter is great. All right. Um, if you guys notice me right now and I'm in a smaller screen or my video box is smaller, that's because my reaction was blocked. All right. I had to shrink it in order for it to stay up. So just want to make that clear just in case you guys are new here. Don't know what's going on. All right. So we ain't gonna waste no more time. Let's jump right into it. Oh, I wish it would have started. Hello, Roger. <laughs> Hello, Olympia. I didn't think you'd be here. I thought you left town already. I was going to leave town, but then I thought, no, I'll have an omelet. <laughs> what? I got a whole dozen eggs. I, I didn't expect you to eat them all. I thought you'd be gone by now. No, I thought maybe we could have an omelet before I left. I'm sorry about the harsh words later. I didn't mean a lot of the things I said, like kitties. Yeah. <laughs> you know, my mother was killed by a kitty. I know. <laughs> you know, sometimes we say things that we don't really mean. It's just the passion, the flaming passion deep within us. Stop it. I can't help it, Olympia. When I look at you, my heart just screams out, I like boys. <laughs> is not the only thing that's flaming. I understand. <laughs> and that's why I asked you to leave in the first place. I thought maybe you would change. I tried, Olympia, I tried. You didn't try very hard. <laughs> Am I not enough woman for you? You are. I thought, the things I whisper in your ear at night, how can you refuse those things like, tell the guy in the blue shirt, stop yawning. <laughs> I've what? tried everything, bringing other people into our bed. <laughs> other people find our sex life boring. How do you think I feel? And Olympia. he was a boy in our bed in a blue shirt. <laughs> you never looked at me once. Oh, man. It's not my way. Your hands are burning. <laughs> I love your Belgian accent. <laughs> Olympia, I'm sorry. I, oh. I used you. I, I wanted to see if I could actually fall in love with a woman. You used me. I'm sorry, but there is something so beautiful when we met at the grocery store and you walked up and said, what's up, bitch? It's okay. I have hurt you. It's okay. I hurt you. You have hurt me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Wait, wait a minute. I need a break. <laughs> Friday is so into character, man. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna hurt. Oh, we got a long way to go. <laughs> oh man, they are so into character. Oh. <laughs> You have hurt me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. It's, it's just Super Bowl. Super Bowl? I'm just so excited about Super Bowl. I understand. <laughs> so am I. I know. There's lots of boys in blue shirts. I know. <laughs> well, not really. It's an Olympia. Uh, I wish there was boys in blue shirts, but there's not. There isn't. <laughs> How's it hanging? <laughs> I'm sorry. I just don't know how to converse with a girl. Oh, I got this breast augmentation for you. You don't even appreciate it. Okay, it wasn't a good job. 
Well, they just hang behind your shoulder blades all the time. <laughs> then turn me around. <laughs> Do I have to tell you everything? Where did our love go? What happened to us? I will hold the raccoon in my teeth. I promise. Anything you want, just go. All right, all right. Listen. I may have steered you wrong with the raccoon. You don't like raccoons? No, I thought it might. I thought it was something straight people did. In my teeth? What am I thinking of? I don't know. Oh, anyway. If you have to go, just go. I do. What's up, bitch? I, my, <laughs> don't, don't try to use those words to, you know, my entire family's been gay for generations. I didn't know that. My Getting father, my father's father. All gay? All gay. They passed for a second or two and then... But my father always said, be true to yourself, son. If you remember one thing as you go through this life, remember this. Bend over. I think you have something on your butt. Really? Really? <laughs> I mean, these brothers are just pulling out stuff from their pocket. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, oh, I ain't gonna make it. I am not gonna make it. <laughs> if you remember one thing as you go through this life, oh. remember this. Bend over. I think you have something on your butt. <laughs> Welcome to the first commercial space shuttle flight. Why don't you get right in here and strap right in? <laughs> Comfortable? Yeah, I'm perfect. <laughs> Lift off in five, four, three, Two, one. I just peed. <laughs> Freeze! I hope nothing goes wrong. I know you've got a simple operation today. There is the man right there. That's where he is laying. I know you want to work on him, and I am. It's a simple, simple prostate exam. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Look at his face. I don't know if I'm ready for this. I... Nobody's ever ready for a prostate exam. <laughs> it's hard from both sides. I know. It's just like, you're right. It's time for me. To check this man's prostate. Oh, <laughs> Lying there, I think I am the meanest prostate. First, I'll move this little guy's penis. First, thing, put on the glove, put on some gel. Here we go. Oh, well. <laughs> That didn't take any time at all. No. You should have put him out first. <laughs> that cost extra. <laughs> I gotta tell you something, Phyllis. Is oh. it about the prostate exam? Yes. I found your wedding ring. <laughs> Thank you. I took it off an hour ago. I was in a rut. How was I to know you'd find my ring inside his butt? <laughs> Put your hand back in, give it a little twist. Lift him up high and be a ventriloquist. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought he might fill in for the man we're, we're oh both God. missing so much. I think he's dying. 
from a prostate exam? I think I may have gone a little too far up. <laughs> I think I dislodged something when I went up his butt. It's really bad, but hey, I'm in a rut. But you shocked him back to life. Look at him sitting there, healthy as a bird, but missing all of his pubic hair. Pubic hair is overrated. You yes. don't need it today. No, you don't. It's a nice to go out and be naked and play. <laughs> that is true. That's a fact. In the tax. As a matter of fact, I think I'll get a Brazilian wax. Hey. I love, I love, I love. <laughs> Your test came back. You're nearsighted. What? Nearsighted? I've got a big village pillaging this afternoon. New choice. I'm going to see if Tron. New choice. I'm planning on entering a poker championship last week. New choice. I'm in love with a beautiful man. New choice. <laughs> New choice. Come, I'll show you a secret. I have another eye. I just never put it in. Why? Well, I wouldn't be much of a cyclops with two eyes, would I? I guess not. You'd be a, a tall, goofy guy. A diclops, I guess. A diclops. <laughs> I don't know. I'm no scientist. Uh, Listen. New choice. I'm no choreographer. New choice. Look what I can do with my hands. New choice. Bird. New choice. Oh. <laughs> All those choices. I just added that Do the you. peace bunny again. <laughs> I love that one. Listen, I've got to tell you, the villagers are getting upset that you're pillaging their, their village. They've hired a guy from out east to slay you. From out east? Yeah. That doesn't seem right. It should be a local boy. New well, choice. Oh, that, what's back east? New choice. You mean China? <laughs> yes. They have a Chinese assassin named Hung Fu. New choice. They have a Chinese assassin named Kill You. New choice. They have a Chinese assassin called Humphrey. It doesn't even seem like he'd come up to my ankle. How's he going to slay me? Oh, he's going to kill you with a spear. New choice. He's going to tell you stories of his childhood in Burma. New choice. He's going to massage you to relax, and then he's going to cut off your head, put it on his head, and then run around, put your head back on, and then uh, dance. Well, when he gets here, I guess I'll just have to reason with him. Oh, man. I'll just have to talk him out of it, I suppose. All right. Try. Remember that he loves milkshakes. New choice. Remember that he's fond of cats. New choice. You can't reason with him. <laughs> Even with a milkshake cat? Oh. Maybe. Hmm. All right, well, help me get into my gear. I'm New gonna choice. wear the metal. I'm going to put on a negligee. If New you don't choice. Mind. I'm going to wear nothing but chaps and ice skates. New choice. <laughs> nothing. New choice. I'm going to wear little tiny people's clothes, so I look like a, a commoner. You know, you've got to hide the fact you only have one eye. Oh, you're right. Why don't you paint another one right beside it? New choice. Why don't you make the nose even bigger? New choice. Why? <laughs> Are we really going to start? No. No. Because I will if you want to no, start. No, 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 no. I'll tell you his weakness. What? He's afraid of leafy vegetables. New choice. He's afraid of miniature cars. New choice. He's afraid of his own shadow. New choice. He's afraid of ukuleles. <laughs> he once punched a Hawaiian. <laughs> what? Yes! That doesn't seem all that bad, punching a Hawaiian. Well, that was just Hawaiian I'm with two eyes. Is there any chance he might just punch me? No. Huh. He wants to slay you. I guess I'll have to kill him first. New choice. I'm going to urinate on him. New choice. I'm going to disguise myself as a huge tree. New choice. I'm going to run like a little baby. New you choice. You wear my eye. New choice. No, I like that one. <laughs> you wear my other eye. Oh, wait, how does that help? How does that help? Because what's worse than... Ow! It's worse than a guy with one eye. Well, no, I'm a guy with three eyes. I'm a triclops. A triclops. <laughs> but together... We're normal. Let me just say I am so happy to be here and meeting you for this moment of spectacular enlightenment. Welcome to the House of Pasties. Come this 
this way and the presentation shall begin. I'm sorry. The House of Pasties. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Pasties, as you can see here, are things that go over the areola. <laughs> Do they attract bees? <laughs> <laughs> Some do! <laughs> oh, man. I tell you, the pornographic balloons are a bad idea. <laughs> we need to make money. <laughs> You're right. We gotta get money so we can rebuild the front of the school. No choice. We gotta get money so we can rebuild the back of the school. No choice. We gotta get money for Mrs. Johnson's breast implants. No choice. We need the money for Mr. Johnson. <laughs> Well, it's not going to be that easy. I mean, you're the principal. Come up with a good idea. Good choice. You're the, the cafeteria lady. Bring some food. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. <laughs> we need to make this the best fundraiser ever. That's why I've hired David Copperfield. New choice. That's why I've hired the Jonas Brothers. New choice. That's why I've hired a cat and a dog that chew each other. What? <laughs> yeah. A dog it, and cat that chew each other? It's incredible. What do you call it? I call it... The dog cat chew. New choice. I call it the pussy woof woof. <laughs> pussy woof woof. I'm getting. I had more, more balloons. Oh. <laughs> oh my God! There's a huge lineup out there. New choice. Oh. Two people came. New choice. Does anybody know about this? New choice. My mother. New choice. My father. New choice. Where's my mother? New choice. Where's my father? New choice. Look how dark it is. New choice. Fog. New choice. Oh my God, Bill Bixby? No choice. <laughs> That's the Batmobile. You brought the Batmobile? No choice. I'm leaving. No choice. I'm taking my balloons. No choice. I'm deflating the balloons. No choice. I'm crawling inside one of the balloons and I want you to inflate it with me inside. <laughs> Hurry. I think it'll work. Every kid in America wants to see a large man in a balloon. No choice. Every kid in America wants to see a little man in an omelet. No choice. Every kid in America is a lot of kids. No choice. I also do some ventriloquism. Really? I'd love to see that. I don't want the glove. That's dirty. All right. Okay. How are you doing today? <laughs> Well, I'm not going to fight right now. There's oh. no need to really put your hand up my. <laughs> right, Come and ride, everybody. <laughs> you guys. <clears throat> <laughs> oh man, he said there's no reason to really put it. <laughs> he was why he was in there. Oh man. Oh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Oh, man, 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 man. That was great. That was excellent, man. <laughs> oh. You talking about laughter, man. Ain't nothing like it. They done got my voice again, y'all. Y'all hear me? <laughs> These two brothers. You talking about a dynamic duo, man. <clears throat> You know, I just, I just love all these guys, man, how quick they are, like how quick, I mean, you have to be, or even, even when they like mess up, it's still extra funny. I just love to see when they like break character. <clears throat> They've been doing this for years, man. Oh, this was really good. Oh my goodness. That dude said, 
I'm going to climb and he said inflate the balloon while I'm inside of it. Oh, hilarious. You know, like I said, man, of course I want to bring you guys joy and laughter. But this stuff <clears throat> is really, really good for me too, man. It's good for me. You know. <laughs> hey. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed. <clears throat> oh, man. <laughs> this was hilarious. Oh, all right. We're going to stop the video right there. Appreciate you guys. Go ahead, like, share, and subscribe. And you guys continue to stay safe. Peace out. Thanks for watching.